Well, you know, one of the things that we talked about uh, in that in this last interview with Michael was, uh, and this was something that Carl Jones initially brought up during our interview, is that um, did you know that the Cleveland show, which has an all black, you know, cartoon cast, all black characters, is actually voiced by white actors and written by white writers. What? Of course. You're not surprised? No. No, not at all. Not at all. Do you, do you have any issue with this whatsoever? Of course there's an issue, but I, I'm moving past that. Because everyone has an issue with it, but they, they don't want to do anything about it. Everybody wants to do a, a Tubi movie or some cool movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hoes and nobody, nobody wants to do a, a, a cartoon. Uh, you know, a, the only cartoon I'll be looking at is Gracie's Corner. <laughs> so, but it's like no one's venturing out. Except for my guy Bruce. Um and, and and there's not a lot of times when you come up with these projects, um, hey, I want to do a black family. Ah, I don't think people are listening to black families anymore. But it, it's a comedy. Not, <laughs> That's the studio or whatever, but now we don't have that excuse because you have the internet. Well, I mean, there's also been a lot of hit shows about black families. The Cosby Show, of course. Uh, you know, of Good course. Times, you know, Blackish, Mixish, you know, all, all those spinoffs, anything else like that. You know, listen, I just interviewed Todd Bridges the other day. That's my guy. You know, and you had a very interesting situation that you had these two black kids that was adopted by an older white guy. And I guess during that time, the Ku Klux Klan was writing like death threats to the, uh, you know, they were getting it from both sides. Like, like the, the, the racist white people didn't like this, you know, these, these two young black kids with a young black girl, a young, young white girl in the house. You They're know what I'm saying? They're going to fuck that white girl eventually. Eventually. They're going to fuck that white girl eventually. <laughs> Right. And then and then white people, you know, and then black people didn't like the idea of an older white man kind of being a father to two black kids. And, you know, it's, but I think what actually makes it really interesting and obviously they did it on purpose was, you know, because I said this kind of started with Carl Jones. And I, I forgot to mention this in my Carl Jones interview. I'll, I'll mention this next time is remember in the boondocks, you had those two white dudes that were played by Charlie Murphy and Samuel Jackson. And it was brilliant. <laughs> it was like yeah. the best shit ever. Boondocks is, you know, look at Boondocks. It, it, Boondocks was the answer to the Cleveland. But look how long that lasts. Well, but Tyler that Perry wasn't. Perry gets to take it off because of, he's he sensitive. Right. We, we actually talk about that. So, so they actually had a gay cult leader that was originally, that was basically based on Tyler Perry. Right. And uh, originally, because I guess originally they just had Tyler Perry, and they're like, no, you got to take it off. He's going to sue, whatever else. They should have whooped Tyler Perry's ass. They should have went down there and, and and whooped his ass. Well, but it wasn't because of him that the show got canceled. But he he had shit taken off. He he he, he made he, he kind of made them like change. No, no, they they he changed one there episode. Like a little bitch, and, and complained instead of taking it. Like he 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 makes depictions of his. All of his, all his stuff. Nobody ever stormed down there. And says, I don't know no black people like that. Mm. But he stormed down there like a little bitch and complained. Am I right or wrong? He definitely complained to the point where when they redid it, I guess they like used his real name. And then when when adults were find out, like, listen, like, like you, you really got to take this out. We're, we're going to get in trouble. He didn't like when, um, what's my man name? This guy's a brilliant director to uh, Atlanta show. Oh, uh, Donald Glover? Yes. He did the Mr. Chocolate. <laughs> Have you saw that episode, Mr. Chocolate? I, I, I did. Was that supposed to be Tyler Perry? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I missed that part. Okay, I get it. I got it. Yeah, you're right. Now that I think about it, okay, Mr. Chocolate. All right. He, he's Mr. Chocolate. He complained about that. Really? Yeah. 
Man, listen, if you make your living dressing up like an old lady, you really can't complain about a whole lot. Like, I know. You got to let, gotta let it fly. Like, you got to let it fly. Listen, like, come on now. This, you know who should be complaining? Carol Burnett. Mm, yeah. That's where he from got that day. whole fucking shit from. From Mama. Mm. Have you never uh, Have you never done a Tyler Perry movie? No, no. No? No, I'm not cute enough. Is it because you haven't offered it or because you've never tried out for I it? Think or, or I, I, he thinks I'll slap the shit out of him if I get if I, He thinks I'll slap shit straight out of him. I think he thinks I'll, I'll slap. I can't control him. I think that's mm. what it is. And I'm going to tell you this. I secretly enjoy his movies because he speaks to a certain demographic that 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 all that crazy shit, like, hey, it, 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 there is that... People, there are people that do that. Yeah. So let the boondocks have their shit and we let you have your shit. Right. And you know, it's actually funny because I think Carl, I think he talked about this on camera. You know, sometimes these on off camera conversations start to kind of melt together. But basically, a lot of this was based on, I guess there was an actor that they knew that went and yeah. he got an audition for a Tyler Perry yes. movie, right? So he went to a Tyler Perry movie. And he went through the first audition and he got a call back and they were like, yo, you got it. You're in. If you get the first call back, you're in. You're mm -hmm. good. Right? So so, so don't even worry about it. So then, like, he went, went to a second call back. And I guess before they're ready to film, Tyler Perry had everyone do a, a prayer circle. I can right? see that. A prayer circle. And everyone sat down and did this whole prayer thing. And I guess this guy, who wasn't very religious, just didn't really – play along with it. He yeah. kind of was just sort of looking around and was like, all right, this is a little weird, but whatever. Yeah. Then he finds out he didn't get the role because he didn't join into the prayer circle. What I did mention is, I think the, one of the reasons why I think he got really mad is because <laughs> I think he thought maybe he had a, a leak or a mole or something because we were putting things that we actually heard about how he really conducts some of his business, hmm. right, in the show. You know, because um, Gary Anthony Williams had auditioned for one of his films and he made it to like the second audition. And so Gary was telling us about all of the stuff <laughs> that he was experiencing, like the prayer circle, how they all were like in this prayer circle. And Gary was talking about how, you know, he was not engaged in the prayer at all. Like he was like looking around, you know, looking at the people in the circle and stuff like that. And he didn't get a call back. Mm. And, and, and usually if you made it to the second one, you're pretty much in. Mm. So he called one of the other actors and he was like, yeah, what happened? Cause I made it to the second one. I got, you guys told me like, if I make it to the second, I'm good. And, and they were like, well, what happened during the prayer circle? Were you, were you and, <laughs> engaged? And, and, and so the, the, the thinking was that he might've been recording those prayer circles. Uh. And so we put that in the show, along with some other things, little details and stuff like that. So I think it was a little too close to home, and that might have really like got him upset, you know. That that it, and, and that kind of gave them the idea, of like, okay, now we're going to start this kind of storyline of like, you know, this guy that's everyone's got to pray with him and then everything it's else. It's like just that. what if if th that episode is one of my favorites. It, just like they had if Dr. King came back. <laughs> remember that one? Yeah, I remember that. That was brilliant. Really? Brilliant. Well, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. Uh, the boondocks, I didn't realize this until doing my research when I interviewed Carl, they won a Peabody the first year. That first season won a whole Peabody. That's a big deal. That's that's a big deal. That's a big deal. To win a Has Peabody? Has won a Peabody? No, he has not. Okay. Now. I don't think I don't think he's really won. If he hasn't won any Oscars. He's got to have a BT <laughs> award or somewhere. Some, something like that, you know? A, a Soul Train a, award, a maybe? A, a Tubi <laughs> award. A Tubi <laughs> <laughs> and this Tubi goes to Mr. Perry. 